Thank you very much for joining us today. Today we have Tyler. We have another friend of mine for college. So thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. Hello, I am Tyler. <laughs> uh, yes, Tyler is my name. That totally sounds uh, normal and not robotic at all. Mm -hmm. They call me Tyler. Because so. your name is Tyler. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good that they call you that and that's also your name, but you know, yeah. maybe you're going through some self-expression and maybe you wanted to call yourself something different, you know? Yeah, I never really did that. People used to call me uh, TJ. Okay. Those are my initials, but yeah. I don't think I've ever introduced myself as TJ, but it's just what people call me. Yeah, I mean, you usually don't nickname yourself. People usually nickname you. <laughs> sure. Um, I like, I have a fair amount of nicknames from friends. Um, I did, there was a soccer coach, uh, there was two Jackies on, um, so, well, I mean, if we want to get into the whole story, there was like four or five Jackies in my grade growing up. And so in the seventh or eighth grade, I was like, I want to be different and I want to spell mine differently. And so yeah. I the E from my spelling. So that's, where the, that's where the I came from. Yeah. Oh, nice. She was like, nice. I have to be different. Um, Cause that's, Why are there so many Jackies at your school? <laughs> that's that's wild. the only child I was. Um, but then uh, my junior year, I was on varsity soccer, and uh, there was another Jackie. And so the coach nicknamed me JR. Mm -hmm. I was like, mm, this isn't exactly the way I want to be referred to. <laughs> like, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> yeah. And I was sort of like, why don't we? call her by her last name because it's like pretty easy to say I, you know i don't know but you're just yeah like, hey. yeah yeah um yeah so that's that's a little peek behind the curtain of the <laughs> who i was growing up nice that's actually how tj kind of came up to another tyler mm. uh and they show i guess his middle name i don't know what it was but that didn't flow as well i guess <laughs> so i i gave him tj you can't call um you. actually tq sounds great TQ. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Tyler's an interesting name. This is like a little aside because there's only like there's an there was like a time in the '80s when Tyler was a popular name that like dropped off. So there's no one like over the age of like 40 named Tyler, and no one under the age of like 18 named Tyler. We just had like a little window. Yeah, a sweet spot. Um, a sweet spot. There's a bunch of Tylers, and they're all like we're like 35. Yeah, that's true. Now, yeah. yeah. But I think there are now kids. I think it's coming back as a kid's name. I think it's actually like a girl's popular girl's name now. Mm, I do like the names that are switched like that. Mm -hmm. I always thought that was so cool. Mm -hmm. um, another fun story about me in high school. Uh, it was me and another girl who sat next to each other and her name was Jordan and my name was Jackie and uh, we were both blonde. But like that's as far as it went as like physical uh, similarities and also um, social life uh, differences. Like she definitely led a more exotic, exciting life than I did. And I just played soccer and, mm -hmm. you know, went home kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I was, I was, and still am a very much big goober. And uh, one day in class, she got sick and she was leaving the classroom and she threw up in the classroom. And then the teacher later uh, in biology like said to somebody else like, oh, Jackie got sick during school today. And so that teacher had also had a daughter on the soccer team and was like talking to my mom and was like, oh, so Jackie's feeling better. And she's like, I didn't even know she was sick. And it was like <laughs> one of those things that I was like, cool, uh, we are, the soccer season is like late in the year and I was like we're how many months into the school year and I'm just finding out that makes <laughs> <laughs> nice and we had a I also like the gossip spread so fast it's like right. oh you're Jackie oh are you you know between uh people over the age of 25 <laughs> yeah <laughs> um but, you know, we also had a, a little bit of a difference in the, the schoolwork that we were doing. And so, you know, I was like, well, this is, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm the good one. Yeah. Well, don't you forget. know, who's good, who's bad, what is it? What does it matter, you know? Mm -hmm. Moral lines but, yeah. are blurry. Um, I was definitely one of those kids that growing up, people uh, copied off of my homework, so... Oh, nice. Mostly because I just did it. You have a little bit of a lag going on. I just noticed that. I don't, 
I'm not I'm not appreciative of it. Hey. Oh. Hey, look who it is. Okay. We're, we're hey, the visitor. Good. Hey, look, Isla. It's Jackie. Oh, Isla. Want to say hi? Hi. Look, you can see yourself too. Yeah. Hi. I hear you're going down for nap time. She can't hear you. But oh. yes. She's oh, going down for nap time. You're right. Uh, Welcome to the internet. Yeah. One day this will be all you want to do is be an yeah. internet star. Good night. Good say night. Bye, Jackie. Bye, say, Jackie. Say bye, internet. Bye, Oh, look at you. I, I have cancer cheese. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> she takes some of your cheese uh, on her way out. She didn't, but she wanted to. Smart, smart. She uh, she ate and ran. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, did you, I mean, this is kind of a big segue, but did you have anything exciting or any decisions about your cheese plate? Because I had a couple of fiascos when I was trying to put this together. I didn't. So um, I had a brief conversation about this and we have some soup. And I thought, oh, that'd be great to be eating soup during this conversation. But um, I then forgot, as you know. <laughs> I didn't have time to heat up soup in a quick time. So I put some chips, some uh, stone ground blue corn chips on a plate. Okay. And then we have cheddar. Oh. So I cut up some cheddar and put what that a, on, on a, a plate. What a, look at you. I was going to get salsa, but I was like, it's too, too much. <laughs> <laughs> Just chips, chips and cheese. Um, so my uh, fiasco is that I, um, I have a pesto and a jam to go with this, and oh I typically use two different spoons for those things, but this time I forgot and grabbed the pesto spoon when getting the jam, so there was uh -huh. pesto on my jam, um, uh -huh. but it also, like, I noticed after I had pulled it out, there was, like, a, a little bit of mold at, like, the top of the jam jar, oh, no. and then I was like, can I not eat this jam? Like, it's just at the top. It's not, like... And then I, I remember, well, I thought of that um, super fancy, I think, LA restaurant that they just, like, there was that huge scandal of they were serving moldy jam. Do you know I didn't hear about this? I did not. Well, I it's, don't like it. This is a bad story because I can't even remember what the restaurant was called. But there was this really, it might have been called Toast, but I'm also like, <laughs> I mean, like this, like, because that's what I think it should be. That um, makes perfect sense. Yeah, but they, uh, so they, I think they started in Brooklyn. Oh, maybe it wasn't even LA. Maybe it was New York. Oh, I'm just complaining. Uh, can... Skirl. It's called Skirl. S Q I R L. Oh, it's called Skirl. Yes. And it's in uh, Los Angeles. Okay. Okay. Good. But I think they started in New York. Correct me if I'm wrong about that. Mm, the internet. Not my my one second of reading does not say the word New York <laughs> anymore. Okay. Well, uh, they like make this amazing jam and like so many people like buy it and like bring it back and it's this huge deal. And then there was like employee pictures that they took and they're like, this is the jam you're eating. They just scrape off this mold and they serve it. And so that's gross. Mm -hmm. It's a restaurant and it's like a full cake, like layer of, of mold basically. Gross. And the picture is yeah, significantly like super disgusting, but, and I was just like, am I, am I doing this to myself? You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Disgusting. Oh, yes. that's so gross. <laughs> oh, oh no, I don't yeah. like it. It's not fun anyway. So, so those are, this is my cheese plate story, you know, nice <laughs> moldy and pesky jam. Don't eat moldy jam. No. Yeah. I just, I wiped it off from the top. Do you think it's okay? I don't know. I'm like pretty anti all that. So <laughs> if I find moldy jam, I might like just burn down my whole apartment. <laughs> I'm not into it. Well, I mean, that is an economical way to handle the problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just wash my hands. I'm out of here. Okay. Yeah. You gather, you gather uh, your wife and your child and you're like, we're starting uh, up with all your animals. Yeah. Let's go. One of the cats. <laughs> Audios. Well, uh, maybe I guess we should go into our segments. Um, sure. This one is called Pass the Cheese, uh, where I compliment the guests. 
Second one is whine about it, where we kind of complain or like talk about something that annoys us, you know. So, uh-huh. Okay. That face. I'm just excited about these segments. <laughs> Got this compliment? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I've been, you know, as I knew this was coming up, I've been trying to think of one that I haven't already told you. <laughs> uh, you know, but I also like, I want it to mean it. Um, that was, of course, oh God, why did I say that? That was really like, that makes everything else like so insincere. And also like, it makes it sound like I don't enjoy talking to you. Just, <laughs> just cut it in post. I, I have not done too much editing on this. Maybe I will now, you know, maybe okay. we'll try it, but uh-huh. you know, we'll see. I'm, you know, because it, it seems like one of those things where for, I'll be saying something like this, and then you edit, and so I'm immediately my hands drop. <laughs> so, do like a star, do like a star wipe. What is that? Oh, like a. Oh. Like it's like it'll be a pinpoint and be like <sighs> a star. <laughs> I guess I should point at the camera. <laughs> of a star. Uh, well. Just do the star wipe around that, and then. <laughs> I mean, like this kind of goes into it. Like you and I can talk about nothing, and also talk about like we've been. For people who don't know which is everybody we have been talking pretty regularly during this whole pandemic um yeah and uh we have gotten into conversations that have been completely unexpected but both you and your wife have really created this safe space for me to talk about things and hopefully you know you feel the same way and, and also work things out and it's mm-hmm. very appreciative but we can talk about nothing and we can talk about something that is really huge and really pressing in mm-hmm. our life and it is fun and it's enjoyable and I like I leave the conversation feeling better. Yeah. You too. Well, thanks. What a yeah. sweet compliment. That's yeah. Really nice. Thanks for thanks for being you. Keep it up. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> do we eat cheese now? Is that I like heard. when we eat cheese? Um. Uh. Yeah. You can you can eat cheese. I think that I've been eating this whole time, but I also don't remember. I take a few bites during this. I don't do a ton because mm. there's talking that's involved. Um. My computer audio is not super good. What a little super catch everything, but I'm also trying to be cognizant of that because not everybody likes that sound. Mm-hmm. Generally, I do this thing as the microphone and the earpiece, but I have instead the camera doing the microphone, so you don't hear me chewing my food. Gosh, hopefully, you so many new ways to handle this situation. I know. I know. The future is now. The future is now. Yeah, technology is so exciting. Um. Oh, I want to pay you a compliment, Jackie. What? You don't have to do that. But thank you. I don't have to, but I'm going to. Yeah, that's true. So Jackie and I met, as you remember, on a, <laughs> at our college radio station. And um, kind of friends, acquaintances. We met, you know, hung out in the lobby, the college radio station lobby a few times. But, you know, we kind of hit it off and became friends. And I think that you... Um, such a have an easygoing, outgoing personality that you're kind of like, let's do a show together. And my mentality at that time, I was a little bit older, and uh, you still are. I'm still still a little bit older. <laughs> um, was very much like show up to college, <laughs> show up to campus, do my thing, and leave. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think you kind of helped me like come out of that shell a little bit, yeah. and uh, you know like. Obviously, we have a long friendship. It's like 10 years now. We've been yeah. we've been friends. Um, and it's because of you. It's because of your kind of just kind of outgoing, easygoing, friendly nature. And, uh, you know, as life goes on, I have a child now, and we're on the opposite sides of the country and all these things, it's kind of easier to lose track or lose contact with somebody. And you kind of reached out in the beginning of this whole global pandemic thing and said, like, hey, we need to one make sure we're still friends but two let's talk regularly and kind of keep a dialogue going and um it's been great it's been like a great thing that's kind of something that we look forward to each week and it's made the pandemic seem a little bit shorter and um the quarantine seem a little little less uh oppressive (laughs) and uh i don't know so cheers cheers to you oh thanks Uh, it feels weird to cheers me but cheers to you too and our (laughs) Thank you. That's, that's very nice to hear. You know, um, I kind of toot, toot my own horn. Um, I know that A, I'm a very rare breed of person where um, one of my love, love languages is like 
words of affirmation, but also like talking to people in a lot of that mode is like via texting or, you know, via email or via social. Well, I shouldn't say social media because I'm actually very bad at social media. And I'm one of those people that like, I look kind of at like what's going on, but rarely will I interact. Um, and I also like, I just want to put something out there and I want everyone else to like it and be like, ah, yes, look at how good I am. Like, mm -hmm. good job. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> Or look at how funny that tweet was or whatever. Um, but thank you, like that's that's nice to hear. Um, and yeah, and so I know that I'm, I'm very strong at, uh, you know, reaching out to people and, but also I've really had to do a lot of like internal and like, you know, kind of scaling things back of my, my expectations because I know that not everyone is, is like that. And I've also uh, been furloughed for several months and so, not only am I already like that, I have plenty of free time and, <laughs> and I have no child and I have no significant family around me right now. And so it is something that I'm like, it's okay if Tyler and Haley don't text me back for two days because they have an actual, you know, huge life going on, you know, because the two of you are both working full time and you have mm -hmm. a child and yeah. So uh, yeah, it, you know, Things like, and this is not to throw shade at you at all, but this has been like a really big learning experience for mm. myself. And I like tell people, I try to tell and preface to people like, I understand that I'm already, like this is already a strong suit of mine and I'm also not working. So I'm just looking to fill my days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you've been very understanding when like, you're like, hey, you wanna talk tomorrow? You just get <laughs> radio silence. <laughs> From two people because it's a group thread. You're like, uh. yeah. Um, it's been funny to for the couples that I am like friends with because there is like I obviously a lot of people in my life are coupled up at this age, you know. Um, but a lot more times you feel like uh, you are closer to one than the other, you know. Um, but with you two. I feel like I'm equally close to both of you. And it's mm. one of those things that it's like a tag team of like, well, if Tyler doesn't answer, Haley might answer or vice versa. And so I'm yeah. just <laughs> attacking it from all angles. Yeah, it's a good, good, good plan. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm really just like very manipulative and I'm very selfish because I'm like, how am I going to get this response the quickest if I text? Yeah, that was the best so way. Well? Well, I appreciate that you also, you have like a group thread with us and then also like individual threads. So you're like, you know, you're like, I'm going to three-way attack this thing. <laughs> which one of you has a, which one of you has a Google phone? Tell me. <laughs> yeah, you know, there, there's also that because I understand that, you know, we've all been in those group chats where two people are talking and you're like, why, why, why are we hearing this for you? Like this is. Yeah, 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 totally. And so I'm, I'm trying to be like cognizant of that. Um, what's something I am also working on is um, there a lot of people are apologizing during this time for a lot of things and you know I can only speak for myself I don't think a lot of apologies are necessary because we are just trying to make it through in one piece this whole situation that we're in um, but I've been trying to you know like not necessarily diminish people's apologies just being like, oh it's fine don't worry it's totally okay um, because like sometimes there are genuine things where someone, you know, we're supposed to talk or we're supposed to get, you know, whatever. And, you know, it misses and there was no communication with them until a lot later. And so, you know, while that's not the worst thing in the world to happen, you know, that is like my time. And I could have, you know, done something else, you know, not much. Like I could have mm -hmm. started an, a, a new series, you know, but or like talk to somebody else. Um, yeah, and so I've been working with my therapist on what I can say. And so mm -hmm. she told me that uh, one time her therapist said, I acknowledge your apology, which that feels like very foreign and very fancy. And so I've been working on, I appreciate your apology. Um, so I know that I've said that to you too a couple times. And it still feels very weird and very foreign coming out of my mouth. But also like, I want to be, you know, like, I'm here for you and I, uh, like, I see what you're trying to do and I appreciate it. And also like, that's it, you know, like. Yeah. Well, words carry a lot of weight. So when you get like a, um, well, words can carry a lot of weight. So when you get something that's just a little bit different than what you yeah. usually kind of cycle through and be like, you know, uh, to see like, I appreciate your apology. 
you kind of hang out on it. You just kind of think about it a little bit longer. And you're like, wow, what does that mean? Okay. And then that like means a little bit more because it actually requires some sort of critical thought. Yeah. It. You know, nice. because I am, I myself have been working on like apologies in general for the last couple of years. Um, ever since 45 was elected, you know, uh, there was the whole nasty woman narrative that happened mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, and, and I, you know, I kind of consider myself a nasty woman. And I know also that women and, um, what's like femme, um, and oh gosh, there's another technology, but people who appear as women, you know, I'm trying to be inclusive of all of that. Mm -hmm. Forgive me if I don't have all the appropriate words um, at this moment, but we apologize for everything and for things mm -hmm. like apologies. And, you know, it'll be like, oh, I'm so sorry. Can you, can you hand that to me? And that doesn't need an apology or you're trying yeah. to attack someone. You're like, oh, sorry, I'm just trying to, to be a Midwestern or oh, I just want to sneak in there. Mm -hmm. uh, and those don't need apologies. And yeah, and so it's been a reframing for me because it also, I feel like takes away when you actually are giving someone an apology, because if you mm. would just apologize all the time for every little thing, when you actually say it and you mean it and it is necessary, it kind of takes away from that. Um, mm -hmm. and so reframing it as a positive, you know, like if somebody is late instead of saying, Oh, sorry, I'm late being like, Oh, thank you for your patience, you know, also helps the relationship with the person that you're with. And so that's mm -hmm. been, uh, it's been an interesting, you know, uh, just reframing and relearning. Um, and I hope that it carries into other stuff that I'm trying to relearn or unlearn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. It's cool. Also, nah, I don't want to get into, I don't want to get into language, linguistic nerdery. <laughs> um, I guess I'll open that door. Uh, yeah, just, you know, as, as a culture and the way that we kind of speak in, in the United States, I think that it's interesting to one, notice that, take it into account, that kind of apology and the way we, that we kind of interact with each other, but then two, course corrective is. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, we have to be open to change and, you know, mm -hmm. if something isn't necessarily the best way to handle that, we got to be ready for that, right? Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. We have to be willing for that. So it's kind of about our time. I don't, um, I'm trying to keep these around 15, 20 minutes. Um, I've been fairly unsuccessful oh, wow. <laughs> with all of them. Um, yeah, flu. Yeah, I, don't get to whine. I wanted to whine about something. I mean, we could do it real quick. What do you have to whine about? Or, you know, we oh. could do it at a time. Someone hit my car in front of my house. That is the worst. Scraped up the driver's side and then drove away. And then I called, like, let me file a police report so I can file my insurance. And uh, they're like, all right, we'll send an officer out. I called at like 9 p.m. And I was like, you don't need to, it's late. And they're like, no, nah, no, nah, we will. And then I had to wait till like 11 o'clock and an officer called and was like, I'm not coming. Like, come on, guy. <laughs> yeah. Come on. That's, yeah, yeah that's it. Ugh, well, that's a worthy whine about it. Um, it was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of implications and stuff with that, but thank you really much for, thank you really much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I don't know. Sometimes I like, will mix things together. Like um, earlier I was trying to say child and kid. And so I think I was going to say, Chide? I don't know. I don't know. Chid. Chid? Maybe that's what it was, but I felt myself saying it. I was like, this isn't right. Let me, let me go back. Anyway, thank you very much for sitting with us. I really appreciate your time. Is there anything that you want to plug or is there anything that you, if you want people to find you on social media or, you know? Mm, abs absolutely not. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I got nothing. I got nothing to plug. Um, that's totally fine. Um, you know, I'm kind of modeling this after podcast, and so a lot of podcasts sure. involve people who are yeah, they're here to talk about something. Industry, huh? um, they're here to talk about something and like promote something. Yeah, um, I've been playing with these uh, pocket operators a lot. Okay, and if you like to kind of fiddle around with like musical instruments and toys, mm. these these are the thing for you. I have two of them. This one does like melodies. Uh huh. And this one is um, more of a traditional drum machine. So I, you know, I recommend these. I'm going to plug pocket operators. <laughs> teenage, teenage, engineer, teenage Engineering is the company that makes them. And uh, they're hours of fun. 
Well, that's great. You know, we're all looking for something different during this time. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe maybe you can find anything that you're a fan of. So that's good to yeah. know. What a great plug. Couldn't be more successful. Yeah, well, if you want, I can like play. I can play like a beat and be like fade out. <laughs> so soon, what you're saying is you're going to be a new D. You're becoming a like official DJ out of this. You're not just a college radio DJ anymore. I'm going to be like a real music making DJ. These two pocket operators on like an acoustic guitar. <laughs> I'm gonna make a whole album. I think I have a drum. I have like a bunch of kids' instruments. It's like a oh, toy, yeah. piano and stuff. It's gonna be so you, you could be, well, you know what? You're probably not the first, but you could be like the first mainstream person who makes a whole recording album off of child instruments, you know? Yeah, uh-huh. Well, like what, what a beautiful badge of honor. <laughs> I'll wear it, I'll wear it proudly. <laughs> well, let's end on that, because otherwise okay. I think it could be this could get very messy very quick, but <laughs> <laughs> thank you again for your time. I really appreciate it. Um, Thanks for having me. Yeah. If anyone wants to follow this on social media, uh, we are at pass underscore the cheese. Um, yeah. You know, that's where we are. We uh, look forward to next time. Pass.